and today I'm going to show you some place value activities that you can do using two-sided counters. In this first activity, we're going to estimate a position on a hundred square. Use your counters to make a 10 by 10 square in one colour. If we imagine a hundred square begins here at one and ends here at 100, we can work out what number any of the counters represent. Turn over one of the counters and work out what number it is. Here my counter is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 across and if I go up this would be 18, 28 and 38 so my counter must be 38. We can repeat this by turning over a different counter each time. Another place value activity we can do is to use tens frames and counters to represent different numbers. Here I have filled one whole tens frame and three in the second tens frame. So the number I am representing is 13. And here I have filled two tens frames and have five counters in a third tens frame. So the number I am representing is 25. I can also use tens frames to make decimal numbers. Instead of the tens frame being worth 10, it is worth 1. Each box is worth 1 tenth or 0 0.1. Here I have 6 counters, so the number I am representing is 0 0.6. And here I have filled one whole tens frame and two in the second tens frame. So the number I am representing is 1.2. In this next activity, the red represents tens and the yellow represents ones. I can use these to represent any two digit number. If I'm making the number 46, I need four tens and six ones. So I've put down four red counters to represent 40 and six ye yellow counters to represent six. And here I have made the number 27 by using two red counters to represent 20 and seven yellow counters to represent seven. The next activity is a simple estimating activity. Take some counters and drop them on the table. Quickly estimate how many are yellow and how many are red. I'd estimate there are 10 reds and 8 yellows. I'm going to check how many there actually are. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 reds and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 yellows. We can use the counters to help us count in multiples of a number. Here I have made a line of red counters and I'm going to practice counting in threes by turning over every third counter. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I can now practice counting in threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. We can also use counters to understand odd and even numbers. I'm going to start at 1 and turn over all the even numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can also use counters to practice ordinal numbers. Here I have a line of red counters. If someone calls out an ordinal number, I can then turn over the number they have called out. If fourth was called out, I would turn over the fourth number. And if seventh was called out, I would turn over the seventh number. The final activity I'm going to show you is finding two more or two less. 
We'll start with two more. If I'm binding two more than four, I would set up four red counters and add two yellow counters. If I add them together, I can see we have six counters. So two more than four is six. Finally, we'll look at two less. Here, I'm starting with seven red counters. To find two less, I turn over two of the counters and count how many red counters I have. So, two less than seven is five. I hope you found that useful. If you did, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. I'll be uploading a video with something new every week. See you all soon. Bye!